Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage Edition, but first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Toyota here in Murray for giving me some time with this Heritage Edition. Check out the inventory on the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Under the hood of the Heritage Edition, we have a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy for this engine is 13 around town and then 17 on the highway with power outputs being 381 horsepower and then 401 pound feet of torque. Now going over the front end of the Land Cruiser, first off we've got these full LED lights with a little LED accent light and they are extremely bright. You've got the fog lights just down below and then you have parking sensors all along the front end. Gigantic Toyota logo with a little camera just down below it and then you do have the chrome front grille. And then if you peep just down there you can see a little tow hook just in case you need to get recovered with the Land Cruiser because this is a hardcore off-road SUV. But other than that, there is the front end on the Heritage Edition. Now coming around the side here, we've got the 18 inch BBS wheels and wrapped around that we've got 285 millimeter tires in the front and in the rear. And these wheels do come with the heritage package, which I love the bronze and how it contrasts the white of this particular Land Cruiser. And if you guys look a little bit closer, how they kind of made the uh, bolts right here in the center, just really dark with the Toyota logo, also dark. I think just the contrast with it is pretty awesome. Look how massive the rotors are. Like they pretty much fill up the whole wheel. Remember. 18 inch wheels and you just have massive rotors here in the front and then you've got the mud flaps that are already built in with the land cruiser and then also how they blacked out the mirror and then yes we've got the obvious roof rack there at the top but there is your full side ish view pop into the rear of the Land Cruiser here. So first off, we've got all of the uh, boxes that come with it. And this one, by the way, is super heavy. I'm guessing that's what holds the toolkit and all that kind of stuff. And we've got the gigantic floor mat. The thing that's interesting with this cargo cover, it's, it's so far back, like you can't really reach. You basically would have to like climb up into here and then you'd be able to pull the cargo cover back. And then by the way, this particular one doesn't have third row seating. You can get it as an option, but again, it's an option. This one doesn't have it. So it has more storage space. And then we do get a full little outlet here in the back of the Land Cruiser. And other than that, I mean, that's the back. It's massive and it has the weird kind of opening with the uh, hatch, but I mean, you could sit there, which is cool. Ooh. Ah. Now let's go over the rear end of the Land Cruiser. So first off, you've got the gigantic LED lights, which I think look absolutely fantastic. And just like, look how massive these are. And then you have the gigantic, again, Land Cruiser badge there on the back with all the parking sensors along the rear. Now in terms of the towing capacity, it's about 8,100 pounds. And then the payload is about 1,300 pounds with this particular one. And then coming just down below, you can see you've got the little exhaust tip sticking out here on the bottom but other than that that is pretty much everything for the back except you do get your little toyota land cruiser emblem right there on the side as well and then there's another little look at the rack there on the top go over the rear door panel here in the land cruiser so first off you got this really nice wood trim here at the top and then you got all the nice soft touch leather here and then look at the coloration there on the stitching i think that looks really nice and they got a little window control right here with a couple speakers there for the sound system and then you guys are probably wondering why the heck do the seats have all this plastic covering on them well this particular land cruiser is actually going in a museum so they're not taking anything off from the uh, manufacturer but you can see you've got the really nice leather here with the seats got nice perforations on the seats but yes this is going in a museum so like everything is still covered up which i think is really neat to see it's kind of like behind the scenes right guys and then coming over here with the vents notice that you do get different climate controls for both of the rear passengers so there's technically four different climate zones here with the land cruiser you have heated seats here for the rear as well and then you got another full little power outlet right there with some vents here in the back but yeah there's the uh, back seats and you know normally i'd pop in but like museum trucks so we we got to be like we got to be extra nice to this one now here's a door panel on the front of the Land Cruiser. So again, you've got the really nice wood trim and then also you've got all of your memory seat functions right there. Again, the nice soft touch leather with that cool stitching just down below. All of your window controls in that little area. And then you guys can see the seats here at the front again, all wrapped up, but 
you kind of see under the plastic covering there you've got the nice perforations really nice leather just really soft to the touch and then again with the stitching there's your adjustments on the side of the seat and then you got a little land cruiser plaque and this is something interesting so on like all the lexuses and toyotas they have this like on the doors um before they go through the pre-delivery inspection which i think is pretty interesting and then you guys can see the pedal layout there at the bottom and then over here we do have some more controls for the land cruiser but we'll go over those in just a little bit and then we do have the adjustment there for the steering wheel it is automatic and there's one more look before we pop in as for the controls right here you do have the adjustments for the mirrors and the mirrors are power folding and then you've got the automatic headlights as well and then you can see there you've got a little button there for the parking sensors and everything so nothing too crazy just a bunch of little controls right there in that area So first off, let's go for the steering wheel here in the Land Cruiser. So you've got beautiful wood trim at the top and at the bottom with really soft touch leather here on the sides. And then notice that they even have stitching here on the center portion of the steering wheel, which I think is just a really nice little touch. And then over here, you've got your like little pages button. You've got your lane departure assistance with your collision assistance, phone controls on the other side with your voice command controls and your volume controls right there. And then you do have your little stock there for the lights and turn signal. And then you've got your stock for the windshield wipers on the other side. But that is all for the steering wheel in the Land Cruiser Heritage Edition. This is the center gauge cluster in the Land Cruiser. And first off, you guys can see there's a bunch of different gauges here with the Land Cruiser from your fuel to your temperature, to the battery voltage, everything. I mean, there's a lot of stuff happening here. Now, as for this little center screen, right here you guys can see you can scroll through stuff like the safety tech you guys can see that we've got the current mpg 1.8 <laughs> this hasn't been driven and then this is actually shows you like your um, wheel angle and everything for the off-roading which i think is cool you get a little compass as well and then you guys can do like the music everything but yeah overall kind of like an old school look for the gauge cluster but i mean that's also what the land cruiser is all about now we have the infotainment system here and if we pop it into reverse you guys will see that the backup camera will pop up you do have the bird's eye view as well and then you can basically pop to just like a full backup camera with that now if you turn the steering wheel the trajectory lines do turn with the steering wheel it's like resolution on the camera is pretty good the other cool thing is when you pop into reverse you guys will notice with the mirrors they actually do tilt down automatically, which I don't know, it's another nice little luxury feature, but notice the screen turns right off and we'll get into that. Now, as for the rest of the screen, this is pretty interesting. You don't really see this in any of the other Toyotas. So you've got all the like analog buttons down here. So like if I wanna go to the navigation, you can go to the navigation and it does function like a normal touch screen here. So there's nothing crazy happening with that. And these buttons function pretty well. And I feel like the response time on the touch screen is pretty good. It just looks different from any other Toyota screen. And I think this is pretty cool that you have like the little traffic incident thing there and then also your fuel consumption which you guys can see again this hasn't been driven so that's why our average speed is zero miles per hour we do have a range of 21 miles though which is another nice little thing but yeah i mean pretty simplistic infotainment system but like it has all the normal stuff that you would need it to have and nothing else that you don't need just down below again you've got the analog buttons for the infotainment system and the hazard lights right there and then you guys can see you've got a little clock here and then the outside temperature which we're in a shop so that's why it's so warm and then you've got the dual zone for the front so remember we have two climate zones for the rear two for the front so four total lots of climate control action happening and then again the stop start button which is kind of like the newer version of toyota stop start button and then nice leather here on that little portion and then we do have the volume controls right here which i just love the look and feel them like the front just looks very premium and they just have like a really nice like actuation feel on them and then press that little thing and it's some extra storage space within this little area but not only that if we actually peek down into it you guys can see you can charge some devices in that little area which i think is a pretty cool little feature and then if you want it to not be there and then there's this little tab right here which it's kind of hard to do but notice that this is for the uh, navigation which i don't know that's just interesting that they have that still let's go over this whole portion right here so first off we've got the heated steering wheel and then we've got the cooled seats and the heated seats and notice there's a little automatic button right there yes this has automatic heated and cooled seats which is really neat so what happens is you basically can just put the automatic button and then what you have the climate set at will determine if the heated or cooled seats are on which i think is a nice little function so think you press automatic for the climate automatic for that you get into your land cruiser and it'll just basically set it to whatever it is outside so you never have to worry about adjusting the climate now as for the rest of this little area we do have the transmission selector for the eight speed automatic transmission it does have a manual shift function if you do want to shift the gears yourself and then you do have a traditional parking brake right next to it this is your drive line select so you either have your four wheel high or your four wheel low that's all that this has and i mean it's intended for off-road so it makes sense and then you get your hill climb assist and then this is like your turning assist on the off-road which is a nice little thing and then you get your crawl control right there with that little thing 
And so we've got our locker here, your stability control. Now I've got the ECT power and the ECT second. So I just recently reviewed a Tacoma and I pressed this button and I couldn't really feel a difference in it. What this basically does is it changes the shift point with the gears. So to my knowledge, and sorry if I'm wrong and if you get offended, then just let me know in the comment section below. But to my knowledge, Basically, this changes the shift point if you press the ECT power so that you can go to a higher RPM, get a little bit more power out of the Land Cruiser. And then if you do the ECT second, I'm pretty sure it starts it at a second gear, um, which can be beneficial on the off-road. Again, from what I read, that's how it works. If I'm wrong, then make fun of me in the comment section and, yes, ruin my life. That's this section here on the Land Cruiser. Now, I've got a little covering here for the cup holders, and you pop that, and it'll just open it up. And then we do have a center console, which is kind of hard to open because of the plastic covering. But you guys can see, you've got a center console. It also doubles as a fridge, so basically just pull this little portion right up there, and you can use this as a refrigerator, which I think is a nice little function, especially if you're going to take this off-road. And then as for the rest of the center console, again, really nice leather on it. Nothing too crazy. You still have the cool stitching and all that. And then again, you got the nice soft touch here on this part of the dash with all the wood trim. And then over to the glove box, you can see that we've got a normal glove box here. Got a bunch of papers in because this is brand new. Land Cruises, you got your owner's manual, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the thing that I do find interesting is that they didn't do like leather on this part of the dash and on that part of the dash. I mean, this thing's pretty expensive, so I thought there'd be a little bit more leather. Up top here, we do have our controls for the center. It is just a regular center. If there's nothing too fancy about it or anything like that, like just a small center, no panoramic or anything like that. And then you do have the little sunglass holder that'll pop down, which is pretty nice. And then as for the mirror, it just has a traditional mirror. It doesn't have Toyota's new mirror where it'll, it'll have like the camera in it. This is just their regular mirror. But yeah, darker colored headliner. And notice how, again, everything is covered in plastic. So normally I don't talk about the key, but I mean, this is probably the last time that I'll review a Land Cruiser. So I will talk about the key in today's video. Just a regular Toyota key. It does say Land Cruiser on the back and you got your normal functions with it. Um, so you basically can open the tailgate, lock it, unlock it, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just a regular Toyota key. And I don't know, thought you guys would like that. Now that we're done going over the interior on this Land Cruiser, let's quickly talk about the pricing of the Land Cruiser and then just finish things up with the Land Cruiser itself. So first off, from a pricing perspective, this Land Cruiser in the Heritage Edition, the starting price is just over $87,000, but this one has a few options like a first aid kit and all that kind of stuff, which bumps it up to $90,000, which I mean, it's still less money than a Lexus LX570. So I mean, you compare it to its sibling vehicle and it's actually a good value, but compared to other vehicles, I mean, it's just really expensive and let's get into that. And sorry about the glare, but here's a quick look at the window sticker so you guys can see all that stuff. So feel free to freeze the frame so you guys can read through all of the options. And then you guys can see the, uh, well, hopefully you can see it. There we go, the pricing right there at the bottom, but that's the uh, window sticker. If you guys don't know, Toyota is actually discontinuing the Land Cruiser. So if you want to get a new Land Cruiser, 2021 is the last model year that you can get a brand new Land Cruiser for the time being. I'm sure that they'll re-release this in the future. Car manufacturers always discontinue things just to re-release them, especially something like the Land Cruiser. Like this is such an iconic vehicle. And the reason this vehicle is so iconic is it's super good on the off-road. It's extremely reliable and durable. That 5.7 V8 is bulletproof. The transmission's great. And it's just this like cool like safari type vehicle and without saying too much the owner of this vehicle and he happens to also be the owner of two other land cruiser heritage editions that are also in here there's one over there and another one over there absolutely crazy um happens to go on safaris and all that kind of stuff and like that's what this was built for is it's this crazy durable vehicle you can take anywhere in the world and it's not going to break on you and you be able to have a ton of fun with it which again is just insane but here's the thing is there's not that many people that have the ability to do that so for the regular person buying a ninety thousand dollar vehicle that doesn't even have a third row that doesn't have like a super nice dash like it's just regular like plastic it's not like full leather over everything it's definitely like a difficult value proposition people would rather buy 
a Toyota Highlander because it has a third row. It has a nicer like interior layout, all that kind of stuff, a little bit more ergonomic. And how many people actually go off-roading? Not that many, which is kind of sad for me, but that's kind of the reality of the Land Cruiser. And I'm sure that's why they're discontinuing it is it's just a hard vehicle to sell. It's so much easier to sell someone on a 4Runner if they want an off-road vehicle because it's literally like half the price. And is it as capable as the Land Cruiser? I mean, it depends on what you define as off-road capability. This you could like live in, whereas a 4Runner, I mean, it's still a pretty good value. And I mean, it's still big enough that you probably could sleep in it, but like this is just absolutely over the top. And yeah, so I think that's why Toyota's discontinuing it. Am I sad about them discontinuing it? Yes, but I understand it's kind of like a dinosaur and it's very expensive and there's just not a lot of people that want to buy a very expensive outdated vehicle. Most people spending ninety dollars to $100,000, they want to get something that's just a little bit different than this, but I still think this is awesome. Now, that is going to sum things up for our video on this 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage Edition. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Toyota here in Murray for giving me some time with this Land Cruiser. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in that next video.